Before installing this mount, please make sure you read the manual thoroughly. Tool check. To install this product, you will need an electric drill, a 3 16 inch drill bit for wood stud installations, or a 3 8 inch drill bit for concrete or concrete block installations, a Phillips screwdriver, a level, a tape measure or ruler, a pencil, an electronic stud finder, and the hammer. It's also a good idea to have an awl or small nail to verify stud locations. Parts check. Check carefully to make sure there are no missing or damaged parts. Depending on your installation, you may not need every part provided. If any parts are missing or damaged, contact customer service by calling 1-800-359-5520 to have the parts sent directly to you. Step 1. Attach the brackets to the back of your TV. First, determine the diameter of the screw your television requires. Hand thread a screw into the insert on the back of the TV. If you encounter any resistance, stop and select another screw diameter until you have the correct size. The long screws should only be used with the spacers or they could damage the TV's internal components. For TVs with a flat or unobstructed back, proceed to step 1-1. For TVs with an irregular or obstructed back, proceed to steps 1-2 or 1-3. If you need extra space to accommodate cables, recesses, or protrusions, proceed to steps 1-2 or 1-3. Only standard configurations are shown. For special applications, please contact customer service. Step 1-1. Attach the brackets to a TV with a flat or unobstructed back. Thread the short screw through the appropriate flat washer, the bracket, and finally into the TV. Make sure the brackets are vertically centered and level with each other before tightening the screws. Step 1-2. Attach the brackets to a TV with a low curved back or an obstruction. Thread the medium screw through the appropriate flat washer, the corresponding shoulder washer, and into the bracket. Add a short spacer between the bracket and the television. The shoulder washer will snap into the spacer when they are properly aligned. Make sure the brackets are vertically centered and level with each other before tightening the screws. Step 1-3. Attach the brackets to a TV with a high curved back or an obstruction. Thread the long screw through the appropriate flat washer, the corresponding shoulder washer, and into the bracket. Add a long spacer between the bracket and the television. The shoulder washer will snap into the spacer when they are properly aligned. Make sure the brackets are vertically centered and level with each other before tightening the screws. Step two, adjust the cord length. For easier access, the click stand release cords should be level with the bottom of your TV. Move the cord adjuster up or down until you reach your desired length. Step 3. Attach the wall plate to the wall. For single stud mounting, proceed to step 3-1. For dual stud mounting, proceed to step 3-2. For solid concrete or concrete block mounting, proceed to step 3-3. For help determining the proper height to install your mount, Visit the SANUS website at www.sanus.com and locate the Height Finder tool on the left side of the home page. Simply enter your TV and mount information and Height Finder will calculate the optimum location to install your mount. Step 3-1, Wood Single Stud Mounting. Please note, for safe installation, any drywall or other wall covering material may not exceed 5 eighths an inch or 16 millimeters in thickness. Use an electronic stud finder to locate and mark a stud. At this time, it's a good idea to verify the stud location with an awl or thin nail. Taking into consideration the overall size of your television, hold the wall plate against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before marking two hole locations with a pencil, one in the top row of slots and one in the bottom. Drill two holes with the 3 16 inch drill bit to a depth of two and a half inches. Attach the wall plate using the two lag bolts. 
Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before tightening the bolts with the provided driver bit. Do not over tighten the bolts. Step 3-2, wood double stud mounting. Please note, any drywall or other wall covering material may not exceed 5 eighths an inch or 16 millimeters in thickness. Use an electronic stud finder to locate and mark two studs. At this time, it's a good idea to verify the stud location with an awl or thin nail. Taking into consideration the overall size of your television, hold the wall plate against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before marking four hole locations with the pencil, two in the top row of slots and two in the bottom. Drill four holes with the 3 16 inch drill bit to a depth of two and a half inches. Attach the wall plate using the four lag bolts. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before tightening the bolts with the provided driver bit. Do not over tighten the bolts. Step 3-3, solid concrete or concrete block mounting. Please note, for safe installation, any drywall or other wall covering material may not exceed 5 eighths an inch or 16 millimeters in thickness. Taking into consideration the overall size of your television, hold the wall plate against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before marking four hole locations with the pencil two in the top row of slots and two in the bottom. Using the 3 8 inch masonry bit, pre-drill four holes to a depth of three inches. Do not drill into the mortar between concrete blocks. Drilling into mortar can result in personal injury or property damage. Insert the concrete anchors into the wall with pointed ends first. Use the hammer to pound the anchors into the wall so that each anchor is seated completely flush with the concrete surface. Attach the wall plate using the four lag bolts. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before tightening the bolts with the provided driver bit. Do not over tighten the bolts. Step four, hang the TV on the wall plate. Please note, before proceeding, verify that the wall plate and brackets are firmly fixed to the wall and the back of the television respectively. With the help of an assistant, Hook the brackets over the ridge on the top rail of the wall plate. Slide the TV left or right on the wall plate to its final position. Then gently let the brackets settle against the bottom of the wall plate. You will hear an audible click when the brackets are locked into place. Step 5. Engage the click stands for cable management. Please note, when the TV is in the click stand position, it is not securely locked into place. Assistance is recommended for this step. Pull the cords down to release the click stands. Gently pull the TV away from the wall. The click stands will be released and will hold the brackets out from the wall to give you easier access to cables and the back of your TV. After you've completed cabling, pull down on the cords to lift the click stands. Gently let the TV settle against the bottom of the wall plate. The click stands will slide upward. You will hear an audible click when the brackets are locked into place. You are now free to enjoy your newly mounted flat panel television. Thank you for your interest in the Sanus Vision Mount Flat Panel TV Wall Mount. If you have any problems with this product or have questions about installation, please do not return it to the store. Instead, contact customer service at 1-800-359-5520.